Welcome to Spine and Nerve Diagnostic Center's educational series. This is Dr. Vinay Reddy. Today we're going to discuss thoracic facet joint pain. What are thoracic facet joints? The thoracic spine is the part of the spine that connects the cervical spine to the lumbar spine. The thoracic spine is also the part of the spine that's attached to the ribs. Thoracic facet joints are small joints that are located at the back of the thoracic spine that connect one vertebrae with another. What causes thoracic facet joint pain? Thoracic facet joint pain occurs when inflammation or injury affects the thoracic facet joints. This can be due to trauma to the joints or stresses on the joints due to degeneration or injury to the thoracic discs. What are the symptoms of thoracic facet injury? Thoracic facet joint injury can cause pain in the mid-back and can severely limit range of motion. It can also cause spasm and stiffness. Injury to the thoracic facet joints causes a predictable referred pattern of pain. How is pain from the facet joint diagnosed? A history of how the pain began the characteristics of the pain, and the pattern of pain can help your medical provider diagnose facet joint pain. X-ray imaging and MRI imaging may be helpful in diagnosing facet joint pain. The gold standard in diagnosing facet joint pain is, however, a diagnostic injection into the facet joint or a diagnostic block of the nerves that provide sensation to the thoracic facet joints. If the pain improves significantly, it proves the facets are the cause of pain. How is thoracic facet joint pain treated? Thoracic facet joint pain can be treated in two ways. A minimally invasive procedure can be performed where a needle is used to introduce anti-inflammatory medication and anesthetic medication directly into the facet joint. This will reduce the inflammation and begin the healing process and thereby relieves the pain. A procedure called radiofrequency ablation can be performed. RFA allows the patient to heat the small sensory nerves that supply the facet joint until the sensory nerve no longer works. When this happens, the sensory nerve can no longer transmit pain, causing the joint to stop hurting. If you'd like to learn more about thoracic facet pain, visit us at spinenerve.com or make an appointment at one of our five Sacramento area clinics.